welcome back to my channel it is mrs ta here again today thank you so much guys for all the love we have reached 1000 subscribers yay thank you for subscribing and if you back here and haven't subscribed please do subscribe what are we talking about today today i'm briefly sharing on five money mistakes not to make in your 20s guys your 20s are tricky they are tricky but <laughs> there are certain things that you must make sure that you do not do the first money mistake not to make in your 20s is not having a budget or not sticking to your budget it is very very important to have a month to month budget the mistake we make here is that we draw the budget that we know works with our financial income and our financial expenses perfectly yet when it comes to us sticking to it we don't implement or we just don't have a budget and we just live life as it comes one day at a time and what happens here is that in your 20s the biggest temptation is keeping up with the Jones. Mm -hmm. When your friend buys that car, you go and buy a car. They've just bought an apartment, you go and buy an apartment. Even though you're not financially ready, they're looking a certain way, you go buy those type of clothes, you know, even if it doesn't work with your own finances. So this is why it's important for you to have your own budget and to actually stick with it appreciate everyone else but stick to your plans guys please own lane own pace and be comfortable with this you need to be comfortable and at peace with the fact that you will achieve your financial goals but just in your own time the second money mistake that we make in our 20s is living off that credit card oh my gosh this is the biggest trap ever you will probably get a credit card a month or so before you even start working meaning by the time you get your salary you're already indebted please make sure that if you do get this credit card the amount that you accept from the bank is quite relatively low to your income you don't want to get to a situation where you're living off the credit card meaning that if you don't have a credit card you wouldn't be able to survive you wouldn't be able to survive a full month without tapping into your credit card so please don't fall for this trap where you get a credit card before you even start working and already by the time you start working you're overly indebted and you can't actually survive without it how do you know that you're living off your credit card if your salary alone is not enough to take you from one month to another without you tapping into that credit card it means you have a problem so please guys make sure that you are not spending more than what you earn third money mistake not to make in your in your 30s <laughs> why am i in 30s already and the third money mistake not to make in your 20s is buying that car brand brand new guys i do not believe in buying your first car brand new at all i do not believe in buying an expensive first car at all um i actually did a video about buying a car i did two so i'll share it um i'll share a link below and then i'll link it at the end of this video as well somewhere here please do what on some tips to buy your first car but just know that don't buy a car brand new buy a second hand car for your first car and make sure that it is a reasonable amount that you can afford and a car that you can maintain from month to month and the fourth money mistake not to make in your 20s is buying luxury goods guys luxury goods are to be bought using wealth not using your normal salary okay 
So please, in your 20s, you're still trying to build wealth. That's what you're working towards. You're trying to build that savings culture. That's what you want to achieve. You don't want to be spending money that you don't even have yet on unnecessary things. Luxury goods are wants. They are unnecessary. You don't need them. If you don't need a Mac laptop, buy a normal worked laptop that you can work on. If you don't need an iPhone, guys, get a normal Android phone that works for your needs. Actually, even that LV belt or that Gucci belt <laughs> that's trending. In your 20s, if you can't afford an 8,000 Rand belt, why are you buying it? So guys, please make sure that you don't spend your money buying luxury goods in your 20s that are quite an unnecessary and that will go out of trend or fashion quite soon and you actually do not get any value from it. Focus on building your wealth. And focusing on building your wealth leads to the fifth money mistake that you shouldn't make in your 20s. This mistake is not having savings. Guys, it is real. There are people out there that do not have any sort of savings at all. And this is so dangerous. And I'm not talking about specific savings for an item you want to buy. I'm talking about general savings that you have stored somewhere for a rainy day. We actually all being impacted right now by COVID-19, other people actually lost their jobs. Imagine losing your job and you don't even have savings to survive at least one month without an income, right? So this time is actually very eye-awakening to the fact that it's important for us to always make sure that we put some money aside. Remember guys, saving is not about the amount of money. It's about just the discipline of saying this is a minimum amount of money I put aside every month and then that money will grow eventually and you find yourself being comfortable knowing that should anything happen, you know, during rainy days, you have somewhere where you can go and access those funds. So I think it's very important to build a savings culture in your 20s and this will ensure that you're even able to create more wealth because with your savings you can use to build wealth, to invest, you know. Someone with cash flow is in a better position to actually take advantage of, a, of an opportunity. Right now we can see that houses are selling dirt cheap because of the type of market we're in. If you don't even have cash for a deposit, you can't even take up that opportunity even though you can see that there are lower interest rates. But someone who has savings, even if they were not specifically for investing in property, but they do have the savings, they do have the cash flow available, it means they're able to take up those opportunities, hence their chances of building wealth are better than someone who has no savings at all. So guys, please save money. Start small, as long as you start, that's the most important thing. And as you go and as you earn more income, as you get uh, further in your careers, you'll be able to save more and more money. Just make sure that you do start, please. So that is it, guys. Those are five money mistakes not to make in your 20s that I promised you. But I'm feeling extra generous today. I'll give you an extra one, the sixth one. Do not get married using debt, okay? A lot of people get married in their 20s, whether early or late 20s. But the point here is do not get married using debt. If you cannot afford to have a wedding and pay for it cash out of your savings, do not do that wedding. Go get, um, go get blessed at church by your pastors and go to home affairs and sign. 5th year anniversary, 3 year anniversary, you guys can throw that wedding of the year knowing that you've saved for each and every cent and you are sleeping comfortable at night. You don't want people to go and enjoy your wedding day and spend all that money but at the end of the day, the first 5 to 10 years of your marriage, you guys are financially stressed 
because you're paying loads and loads of money towards the loan that you guys took. So that can can actually set you back for quite a while in your life. Instead of you guys planning to buy property and doing things and family planning, you're now focusing on this debt that you have to pay off. So please guys, if you want to get married in your 20s, save for it or just do a route that works for your finances confidently knowing that you have a plan. So yes guys, that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching again. I love you, love you so, so much. Please do subscribe. Love you. Bye.